We've got these wonderful, beautiful old oak trees. As we compose this oak tree, polarization comes out when you have a landscape that's side lit. The other thing that really needs to come up here is a sense of scale. Adorama TV presents You Keep Shooting with Brian Peterson, where you'll learn unique and creative techniques that will elevate your photography skills. Well, right now we had to pull over and stop for a very, very good reason because we've got these wonderful, beautiful old oak trees in late afternoon light as the sun is going down. We are in the incredible countryside of Recreal, Oregon, which is on the way to the coast west of Salem, but not before you get to Lincoln City. It's kind of in the middle. Recreal, that's kind of a funny name. It's like a free for all, but it's called Recreal. Well, we're going to be here and doing a free for all in terms of this oak tree. Verticals, horizontals, with and without a filter, with always a polarizing filter for sure. And this is one point I want to bring up right away. As we compose this oak tree, you may see off in the distance to the left another oak tree. That brings us a whole sense of scale here. Take a look at this first photograph at 125th at F8 with 200 ISO, no polarize. Take a look at this next one. I'm going to polarize it now. And my exposure time, because the polarization drops a little bit, I'm now at a 60th at F8. Take a look at that. Look at them two side by side. Clearly, the blue sky is more vivid. And that's the trick, the polarizer. Why are we using it? Because we are predominantly in a somewhat side lit scene here. So, polarization comes out when you have a landscape that's side lit. Now, the other thing that really needs to come up here is I was thinking to myself as I shot this, and I mentioned this to the students, how wonderful it would be to have a sense of scale in here. Well, my students, of course, are here to shoot, but fortunately, one of them unselfishly has volunteered to model for us. And by model, I mean she is literally, that being Melissa, is going to go stand for a portrait at the base of that large oak tree. Hi, this is Brian Peterson inviting you to check out Adorama's latest contest. This could be your chance to win some great prizes. Well, as you can see, Melissa's on her way to the oak tree. And one of the things that's so vitally important to a shot like this is the old adage what Kodak said years ago. Kodak said, if your picture isn't quite as successful as you hope, maybe you should consider putting a little bit of red in it. Well, in this case, that little bit of red comes from Melissa's red sweater. In addition, notice now what happens when I photograph this same picture. Two things take place from a compositional standpoint. Take a look. Not only is the red sweater eye-catching, but also the size of Melissa really emphasizes the scale, size, and scope, not only of the overall landscape, but also the size of those old, wise oak trees. Just one more thing you needed to know, and I know you can do this. I know you can. My students are right now. Easy stuff. Hey, until next time, this is Brian Peterson saying, you keep shooting. looking prints at low cost, be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.